Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News starts now. It is Eating Disorder Awareness Week and 23 ABC is digging into the struggle to find local treatment. Plus, protecting California from bioterrorism. We'll talk about new legislation and how it is, uh, how it will address security concerns in one particular industry. And bad news for public schools around the state. We'll tell you how the state lottery skimped on their bill to give back to public education. Good morning and thanks for joining us for 23 ABC News at 6 a.m. on this Wednesday. I'm Danielle Kernkamp. I'm Mike Hart. Glad you're here. Let's bring in CHP officer Robert Rodriguez. Get a first look at what's happening out on our roadways. Robert. Thank you very much, Mike. Again, good morning, everybody. It looks like uh, we do have a crash uh, here locally through Bakersfield off of uh, Olive Drive at State Road. Just came in. It looks like two vehicles are involved here. That intersection is blocked, so please be careful if you're out that way uh, this morning. Expect some delays uh, through that intersection. Again, again that's going to be Olive Drive at State Road. And then also up on the Grapevine on the northbound side of uh, Interstate 5 on the on-ramp from Fraser Mountain Park Road uh, to northbound Interstate 5. We are still on scene of an earlier uh, overturned Big Rig. It's a non-injury crash there. They've just uprighted that vehicle, uh, so we're hoping to clear the scene within an hour, so hopefully that, that uh, remains so. And uh, if you are going to make your travels out of town, again, so far so good. Right now your major routes are all open. That's more of the good traffic. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, thanks for those updates, Robert. Okay, so with our first forecast, you see we are dry, calm, quiet. That high pressure is building. So all of the storm tracks well up into Canada and diving down off to our east. We are left sunny and stable and warmer for the rest of the work week. Nothing warm about these temperatures. We've now dropped to 45 here in Bakersfield, but look at some of that yellow contouring against the foothills. Some temperatures still in the 50s at this hour. Look at Taft at 50 right now. That's well above average this morning, even though it's cold right now. Look at how warm we get later today. Already 74 by lunchtime, 78 this afternoon. These temperatures about 12 to 14 degrees above average for the next several days. And then we're cooling this weekend with a chance of rain. I'll show you that coming up. It is National Eating Disorder Awareness Week, and in Kern County, it can be difficult to find treatment for these types of illnesses. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido joins us in studio and digs into the eating disorder with a specialist directory and finds a lack of resources for locals. Daniela? That's right. According to the National Eating Disorder Association, 30 million Americans will struggle with an eating disorder in their lifetime, 10, of, 10 million of those being men and 20 million of those being women. Still, the support for eating disorder treatment is lacking in Kern County. And then it just morphed into to an extreme obsession with controlling food and controlling what my body looked like. This week, Good Morning America's Ginger Z shared her struggle with anorexia nervosa, one of the different illnesses that falls under an eating disorder. Eating disorders can come in all different shapes and sizes, so we know that people may have different kinds of struggles and we know that people who are struggling with eating disorders may be all over the spectrum. So we know that there are people who may deal with binge eating disorder who may also restrict um, or who have different issues in different times of their life. All of those people are deserving of care and really all do deserve and need professional help for people who do specialize in eating disorders. When looking for treatment providers on the National Eating Disorder Association's website, no eating disorder specialists were listed in Kern County. I think there's an overall lack of, of resources and adequate care um, across the board, so it's, it's unfortunately not uncommon to be in that situation. When searching the Kern County Therapist Directory on Psychology Today, only 12 marked eating disorders as issues they feel comfortable addressing, but only one marked it as a specialty. Um, when I was living and practicing there, I noticed that there really weren't any eating disorder professionals at all, um, any that had been trained in how to provide um, treatment for those suffering from eating disorders. Samantha Bothwell was born and raised in Bakersfield, practiced here for four years, and has since moved to Long Beach, but continues to see a need in our area. Um, I just started offering um, telehealth services, so doing virtual therapy to kind of meet that gap. The NIDA website also has a self-assessment test to help you recognize your eating habits and offer the best form of treatment for your case. From Bakersfield, I'm Daniela Garrido, 23 ABC, connecting you. We reached out to Kern Behavioral Health and Services, which focuses on mental health in Kern County, and they said that they're still working on adding eating disorder resources to their services. If you or someone you know is struggling with an eating disorder, you can call the NIDA helpline to the number on the screen, and you can also search for nearby treatment providers on their website. Live in studio, I'm Daniela Garrido, 23ABC News, connecting you. 
New legislation was announced to improve access to high quality maternity care for the state of California. The proposed legislation, also known as Senate Bill 1237, would expand access to care by authorizing nurse midwives to conduct routine services without direct phys physician supervision following the lead of 46 other states. According to the proposal, California's current model has not been shown to increase the safety or quality of maternity care. Nurse midwives perform 50,000 births a year in California and SB 1237 would result in more women gaining access. And a bill introduced by Bakersfield Assemblyman Rudy Salas will have California leading the nation in strengthening biosecurity. AB 1966 would task the State Department of Public Health with developing public safety screening guidelines for gene synthesis companies that are operating here. For most major companies, a customer can simply log onto a website, upload a DNA sequence, and order thousands of genes through the mail. According to a doctor with John Hopkins okay, Center so for Health Security, the legislation would make it easier so for companies to have basic stuff. biosecurity no. controls in so place and make it oh, yeah. harder to form no. biological weapons. As the high-speed rail continues to gain traction on construction, officials want to confirm continue to benefit from public input by holding public hearings. The high-speed rail authorities releasing the first draft environmental document for a significant project section into L.A. County. The document covers the 80-mile stretch from Bakersfield to Palmdale. It will be open to public comments starting this Friday for a 45-day period. The authority will also hold three public hearings in Lancaster, Bakersfield, and Rosamond starting next week. California's state auditor says the California state lottery skipped on giving 36 million in revenue to fund public education and spent 720,000 on food and travel expenses without considering cheaper options. The auditor's report said the lottery agency should have accounted for an increase in profits for the fiscal year that ended in June 2018 by providing 36 million in public education financing. The California lottery says in a written response accompanying the audit that it disagrees with the auditor findings and that the agency gives the most money it can for education. Cal State Bakersfield re received a major investment in its STEM programs from a longtime community partner. Chevron donated one million dollars over the next five years to the university. According to CSUB, that money will help with academic programs, specifically in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It will also help faculty who conduct research with students. And uh, Chevron has been a great supporter to CSUB in many realms, but we're particularly happy with all of the good work they've done to support our science, technology, engineering, and mathematics programs. President Lynette Zelesny went on to say those fields continue to grow at the university, so this will definitely help them out. This morning, over a dozen employees with the Kern County Sheriff's Office will be recognized with a promotion ceremony. This is video of a previous ceremony. The department will recognize a number of employees within the office for their dedication and hard work. 13 employees will be receiving promotions and two will be awarded commendations. The ceremony will take place at the Sheriff's Auditorium on Norris Road at 10 o'clock this morning. Three local athletes will be signing their letters of intent today to play athletics in college. Bakersfield Christian High School is hosting the signings. Carter Lynch will sign on the dotted line to play football at UC Berkeley. Christina Evans will be playing soccer at the Masters University. And Elizabeth Rakoff will be swimming for Fresno Pacific University. The signings take place at 1130 this morning. A big congrats to those students and all students locally who are taking their athletic careers to the next level. All right, let's bring in Elena 